What's going on, y'all? My name's Damien, and on this YouTube channel, I basically talk about all things cloud security, DevSecOps, and offer career advice within those two domains or in cybersecurity as a whole. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing what Azure certifications I think you should get in order to become a cloud security engineer. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so just a disclaimer, some of the certifications that I'm gonna show you guys are based on the research that I've done and the certification roadmap or pathway that I'm going to be discussing with you all is based on, you know, the type of pathway I'd go through myself in order to become a, a cloud security engineer within the Azure space. So just to start, if you don't have any type of Azure experience, or if you're transitioning from AWS Google Cloud, it is recommended that you take the Microsoft certified Azure fundamentals. So it's a beginner level certification and it's similar to the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner or the Digital Cloud Leader for GCP. And the thing is, you know, what this is basically going to do is going to help set that foundational knowledge so that you get to understand some of the services within Azure, as well as some of the general cloud concepts, which if you are transitioning from like AWS to Azure or from GCP to Azure, taking a certification should be a breeze because it's just really learning some of the cloud concepts that you should already know, as well as some of those Azure architecture services and some of the best practices, right? And how to effectively use the services. What are some of the common use cases of those services? So this is the first certification that you should definitely get if you want to go in the Azure route to understand these services at a foundational level. When it comes to taking an exam, it should take about 45 minutes to complete the assessment, which is not bad. It's a lot shorter than I thought it would be, as well as, you know, the cost of it is like 99 USD or 99 bucks in US dollars. So it's a very inexpensive exam. So I would definitely recommend taking it, especially if you transition to the cloud. Next up is the Microsoft Certified Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals. The number for this, I think is called SC900. And essentially what this certification exam is, it really just helps you get familiar with some of the core security products and services that Microsoft Azure offers or Microsoft offers. And it also kind of helps you get very familiar with like some of the concepts of security compliance and identity and some of the other compliance solutions that they would have as well. If you're going to be working at Azure, they definitely recommend going in this direction and understanding how that basically fits. So the thing about this exam from my understanding is that it's not incredibly hands-on. It's more of a high level beginner certification exam. So you really get an idea of what Azure's or rather Microsoft security stack looks like as far as like what products and tools that they offer. So I think it's a lot more security focused, this certification, and it's also a beginner level, which I think is really nice compared to some of the other CSPs that I've seen. They don't really offer a specific certification just for the security services and the stacks and all that stuff like that. So this is really nice to see. Similar to the foundational certification that we just talked about, the Azure Fundamentals, this one, 45 minutes to complete it, and it's only 99 bucks to take it. So very inexpensive or relatively inexpensive. All right, so now once we've kind of got past those beginner certifications, we can talk about the more intermediate level certifications. So this one, I would consider to be the solutions architect equivalent for Azure called the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate or the AZ-104. So in this particular case, this is where you're going to be tested on how you can basically create, manage, and monitor, you know, resources that you create in Azure's environment. So you get that hands-on experience, you know, managing some Azure resources. You get to configure a little IAM. There's a little bit of storage compute. You get exposure to some of those security related services in this and VMs, right? Or compute, for example. And I think a big part of this certification that you'll be tested on is that experience with, you know, creating virtual private networks or virtual networks, VNets, and getting tested on like some of your experience with like the Azure CLI. So with this certification in particular, it will definitely help you prepare for the next certification I'm about to go over simply because you'll learn how to basically architect, implement, and manage some of those resources. You can't defend what you don't understand. So that's one thing I want y'all to remember. So 
this one, if it was me going through this path, this is the path that I would take to get over that, over that hump to solidify my knowledge and grow it within the Azure realm. And the thing about this is this one is going to be a bit more technical. I'm not even going to say a bit more technical. This one's actually going to be technical. So that's one thing to keep in mind. With this exam, like it says, you have 100 minutes to complete the assessment and the cost for it is about 165 bucks. So not too bad. And, you know, you got some exam retake policies, which I think y'all should go over if you're pursuing going, becoming a cloud security engineer in the Azure world and you want to get this particular certification. So once you get that certification, the AZ-104 that is, you definitely want to go ahead and ramp up and get ready to pursue the AZ-500 or the Azure Security Engineer Associate, right? One thing I forgot to point out, uh, the renewal frequency, y'all definitely have at the top. This is actually quite interesting because some, I know with AWS, I think it's every three years, depending on your certification or is this every three years, but with Azure, it seems like their renewal frequency for their certifications is 12 months. So make sure y'all take that into consideration when you're getting these certifications, just throwing that out there. But coming back to where we were, so this is pretty much the certification is going to test you on whether or not you actually know how to secure the infrastructure properly in Azure using their best practices. So it says, as the Azure security engineer, you implement, manage, and monitor security resources for resources in Azure, multi-cloud, and hybrid cloud or hybrid environments as part of an end-to-end -end infrastructure. So essentially, this is the responsibilities that you're going to be included, that, that are going to be included in your, you know, Azure sec security engineering job or whatever the case may be. And the thing about it is that these are the skills that are going to be measured. So you're going to be measured on identity and access management, networking, compute storage and databases, and even Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Microsoft Sentinel. The thing about this is that that certification I was talking about earlier, which was the SC900, that is going to help prep you for learning these two products because you get exposure into them, right? So... All of it kind of aligns once you get to that certain point. So by the time you get here, you already have some type of understanding of what these two services or products are, right? So that's one thing I want to keep you in mind. This certification out of all the ones that I've mentioned, you have to get, you should definitely should get, and you should aim for it. When it comes to taking an exam, similar to the AZ-900, you basically have to, you know, you have about 100 minutes to complete it, and it's the same price, 165 bucks, right? And this is an intermediate level certification according to Azure standards. All right, so if you are trying to go the architecture route in your career, right, and you want to become a cloud security architect, or you're going to be an engineer, but in a senior status where you're basically like a distinguished engineer, you're pretty much driving change and architecting like very high level solutions. I would say this. This certification, optional, but definitely something that you should get, which is basically, it's called the SC100, and it's the Microsoft Certified Cybersecurity Architect Expert. It's super duper difficult from what I've heard. And the thing about this certification is it requires three certifications, or it requires you to take three certifications before you actually take this one, right? And those three certifications, one of them is the security engineer, which is the one that we just talked about. The other one is a security operations analyst. And then there's another one where it is the identity and access administrator associate, right? So I'm not going to really talk too much about these certifications, but ideally they're just kind of specialty certifications that Azure created to help you dive deeper into certain topics based on like a type of job title or role which I think is really nice, but ideally that's the route that you would really have to take. And like I said, this one is optional unless you're really trying to go into that architecture route, then you definitely want to try to make sure that you take the certification exam after, of course, you've got no street certifications. And the pricing is the same. That's 165 bucks USD. So I think most of their certifications just mean guessing we'll cap out at 165 bucks and that wraps up this video you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you were able to find some value out of it if you like what you heard 
and I've inspired you in some way to pursue your Azure career or to become an Azure Cloud Security Engineer, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you'd like to see on this channel, and most definitely, definitely share with your friends. Thank you guys again for showing up. Really appreciate your support on everything, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Later.